we released an emergency episode. It's out right now, speaking with one of our favorite shipping guests, Sal Mercogliano. He actually has a shipping show on YouTube called What's Going On With oh, Shipping. Okay. So really the huh. perfect guy to speak to. And the first person, when, when I heard the news yesterday that I thought of, I immediately went to his Twitter account to see what he was saying. And he makes the point that we have this 50-year-old bridge, which when it was built, obviously adhered to all the codes of the day. But in the time since, mm -hmm. container ships have become much, much bigger. What we ask of container ships in terms of, of turnaround times and flexibility and uh, just intensity city has has grown enormously and so now there's a mismatch right between this old infrastructure and the new ships and the result is the terrible tragedy that we saw yesterday first of all these are two of my favorite people at Bloomberg. Did you know this? I, mean, I did not Paul, know that. You are obviously they're my okay. favorite. Yeah, they're But then it. it's like a Joe and Tracy all right, uh, all right. situation. Um, particularly Tracy, Joe. No offense, but I haven't actually that's seen fair. Tracy I in like years. Fair. Yeah, so this is a real treat. So this is like really exciting for me that I'm having a moment. Um, so, okay. Aside from that, I'm wondering like how you fix that, Joe. Because yeah. it's not like there's a lot of infrastructure money that's going to... We all know the bridges and right. roads and tolls need to be fixed. But then like getting the capital out there is a whole different story. Yeah, I think there's like a couple elements here to thinking about spending priorities. So obviously the bridge is going to have to be replaced. It doesn't seem, you know, it's, and there's not, I don't think there's any way to do that quickly. You know, uh, as our guest mentioned, you know, just designing a new bridge, assuming you want to make it taller, assuming you want to make it more fortified, that design does not currently exist. So that would have to happen. Then there's the federal money and maybe the uh, federal government will gather the votes to do it. The other thing too is, you know, there, so for example, there's a good article on the Bloomberg uh, this morning about this particular ship, some some issues, um, historical issues that that ship has had. Um, as he pointed out, like, you know, there really is not much budget right now for a lot of these sort of operations that would monitor this type of thing or that would enforce this type of thing. As he pointed out, I think the whole spending on I forget which division he mentioned specifically having, you know, a smaller budget than like the New York Police Department for the entire globe of like, you know, track some of this oh, wow. tracking and stuff like that. So perhaps, you know, one area is not necessarily in the physical infrastructure of the bridges, but another thing that could be done theoretically is in the sort of monitoring of the ships and the compliance and the upkeep and making sure that they're all like technically sound. All right. So uh, Odd Lots, the podcast, real estate, commercial mm -hmm. real estate, that is a big issue for investors in general, particularly real estate investors, particularly investors in the financial institutions that, that lend to the real estate business. You guys have some a story on that. What do you have? Yeah, we've done a couple episodes on this now. So we spoke with Rich Hill, uh, formerly at Morgan Stanley and now at uh, a, a different specialized shop. And we have another episode coming out on Thursday with Arpit Gupta. And he's the guy who kind of coined the idea of the urban doom loop. Mm. So his argument that is that as property prices fall in value, the amount of tax that the, uh, the state or the city can get out of the population starts to fall and therefore the experience of being in the city starts to fall and we all deal with increased crime and rats and nasty things like that. But I have to say he seemed more optimistic yeah. when we spoke to him and his whole urban doom loop idea was sort of predicated on the idea of the city doing absolutely nothing uh, and it came out like a year or so ago at this point and I think since then we have seen some measures from the city to do things like office to real uh, to residential real estate conversions and things like that so it's all about what we can do to arrest that doom loop at this moment and part of the story too is that we might not know the final chapter yet because yeah. uh, there are many things that take time like property tax reassessments take time there are uh, companies occupying office space that haven't canceled their leases that may mm -hmm. plan to if you had like a seven year or a ten your lease you're not getting your employees back at the office then maybe at some point that so there's still this element it's like we don't really know and the full budgetary impacts on the city you know it's sort of rough in new york but as he points out like in san francisco yeah and uh to, at normal growth rates of sort of new leasing would take them 37 years to get back wow. to uh what? normal levels of vacancy rates oh so gosh. like it's it's much you know san francisco has other things going for it like everyone who knows about ai is going there but like you know, the, there's some real issues with the sort of lagged effect as yeah. these assessments and leases roll off that we just don't know yet. Wait, the timing. Wait, am I going to have to pay more property taxes? 
Uh, well, that's part yeah. of the doom loop so that, scenario. Yeah. Like, yes. Yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> Again, oh, there are no. all these different levers to pull, but the timing here is really interesting, and that's a theme that keeps coming up in all these episodes. So for now, commercial real estate investors have been able to buy time yep. through extend and amend practices by not lowering the rent and having to crystallize those losses. But the big question is, how long can they keep doing that? Yep. 